Hello everyone and welcome to ES Repair again. I'm your host the Wiz Kid. Today I'm going to show you how to use a test meter to test your computer power supply if your computer is not running. Of course if your computer is not running it will be of various reasons. The power cord could be bad. No plug power to your plug that you got plugged into like a broke shot breaker or blown fuse. Power supply could be bad. Or the main board on the computer that sends a signal back to your power supply to turn on could be bad. Or your switch on your computer that's pressed could be bad. I've got a tester here to test your computer. You don't always have to take the power supply out to test it, but you got to get to all the leads. You plug it up to a plug that works, that you know works. Plug it in the back. Some power supplies have a switch here on, turn them off and on, and some don't. This one does. What you do, this tester's got one for the main big 24 pin and your SATAs, your floppies, your EPS, and your PCIs, and your Molexes. And LEDs light up. It'll tell you if you're getting voltage to it, but it won't tell you if the power supply is putting out amperage. Kind of like the battery on the car. You may have enough amperage there and voltage to turn your headlights on, but there's not enough amperage to start your motor. But still, there's voltage, and enough voltage to make the lights come on. Once you get it plugged up, here's what you do. Take it. See it beeped, and the fan come on. It's lit up there, except for that one bulb for the negative 5 volts, which this power supply don't have. It's an older model. You take your Molexes, plug them in there. And that one lights up, along with this one. Then, you can take your little one here for your floppies and plug that up. But you may have to unplug some of the others first to check it out. The extra pins here are for the ones that's got the other extra four pins. I think them are the 24 pins and this is the 20 one. Mm -hmm. But soon the main one's going to plug it, going to tell you, so you got to have it plugged up. Well, that's what sends the signal to it. But like I said, it won't test the amperage draw. And your power supply could be bad if it's heating up over time and sorting out. Anyway, this is meter cost about twenty dollars from Radio Shack but plus your shipping handling you gotta get it online or unless you can buy it somewhere in a computer store. It's for twenty dollars it's worth its value for testing meat power supplies. But anyway, thanks for watching. Come back soon.